Um, so you were a novel writer first, and um, how did you get the chance to get into game writing with Perplex and the zombies and such? Uh, so it's Perplex City, and um, so really, my novel writing career and my games career developed almost at exactly the same time. Um, there's a kind of weird long story about how I got into games, but basically it went like this. Um, I was doing my, I, I just finished my master's in creative writing, and I was working on my first novel, but I hadn't, didn't have a publisher yet, I was just working on it. Um, and I was working part-time for a charity to like make ends meet as I was working. Anyway, one, I had, I had, I had got obsessed, re-obsessed with the book that I had loved when I was a ch child called Masquerade which is a sort of treasure hunt book. Um, and I, I just got really obsessed with this book and, and had read it again. And I thought maybe I had a novel brewing about it, you know, about this, um, uh, this, this fever that happened about this treasure hunt game. So um, and one evening, I was about to email my friend to say, what time shall I come over for supper tomorrow? And I looked at my email thing. Remember those emails? That, like in 2004, everyone had them, like little quotes at the bottom of your email you know, quote from your favorite, something like that. Anyway, I looked at mine, which was a quote from Six Feet Under, and I was like, oh, I'm bored of this now. So um, I thought for a while, and then I put in one from Masquerade, this book, and then I emailed my friend and said, what time shall I come for supper tomorrow? And my friend emailed me back instantly and said, oh, my God, do you like Masquerade? If so, I met somebody at a party last night you absolutely have to talk to. And so he had met someone who was looking for a writer for an online version of Masquerade, which is sort of a bit what Purple City was. And they talked to a lot of writers, but no, nobody they'd spoken to was really right for it and had really got it. Um, and I, of course, instantly got it because I've been thinking about Masquerade so much. And that's how I ended up working in computer games. That is a long story. But um, I think many people have a circuitous route like that into the industry. There's no really one career path. Um, do you have any just general tips for uh, people who may be wanting to get into game writing or just maybe you no, do's I, or don'ts? I guess I would have to say change your email sig, something that you're passionate about, <laughs> and then email everyone you know. Um, but I mean, in all seriousness, I think, probably it will do you no harm to say to everybody that you, that you know, um, you know what, I'm really, what I'd really love to get into? I'd really love to get into games writing. This, this, that will do you no harm at all, just to sort of, you know, just let people know that that's what you want. That's always a good start, particularly in a field which involves a lot of networking and contacts and somebody just happens to talk to somebody else. Um, you know, play games. If you like a game, if you really enjoyed it, play it more than once and work out how it worked. Uh, also be inspired by other forms. I think games writing is not at its height yet. I think it's got a long way to go before it before it really reaches um, where it's going to be. So you know, watch The Godfather, <laughs> watch watch Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Everybody should watch Buffy the Vampire Slayer anyway. I agree. Uh, be, be inspired by different forms, and also it is a business where it's important to get out and meet people. So don't just sit in your room or in on your on your couch watching TV and playing games. Go and meet people who are making games, little games, indie games. Tell them that you love what they do. Uh, go to places where they are. And people are much more likely to want to work with someone that they have actually met in real life, even though half of us live all the time on the internet anyway. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you. Um, again, we've been talking with Naomi Alderman, acclaimed novelist and writer for several very successful games. So thank you again, Naomi, for talking with us. My pleasure. It's been lovely to chat to you. And cut! Alright! That Thank was you. wonderful! Thank you so much!